So, Dean, I want to talk about a call I just had from a potential member. And that okay. call was very interesting. Now, he's went with BirdEye. He's went with Yext. He's went with Bright Local. I think he said Sign Up as well. He might have said DBA Platform as well, which those were all competitors of ours. We tried to go to them when we first started developing Simply Be Found. Mm -hmm. They either didn't work for us to be able to do what we wanted. We ended up starting our whole entire platform from scratch. And he went to them for his listings piece. And his problem is he got duplicate listings. So duplicate listings can really hurt your local SEO score. So, so huge... let me, let me, let, you know, I'm going interrupt for just a second. What do you mean listings? What do you mean by the listings piece? What, what are you trying to so, say for that? So listings could what? be is anywhere your business is listed online. Like we go to Apple Maps. We go to um Google so, business so they, Google they duplicated his business profiles. If, if are you saying they duplicated the business profiles a little bit? Is that what you're yeah, saying? What they did instead of oh, okay. updating their current, what they did instead of updating their current uh, profile that they already had, okay. they created a new listing form, which causes a duplicate of listing, which means you now you have multiple accounts. It'd be like going to Google Business Profile and creating the same listing over and over and over again. I got you. So, so that actually penalizes the business to some degree, it, doesn't it? Is it, the, it, way, it really, the way I understand the way the world works out there? Yep, it can really hurt the business because having those duplicated listings is now going to confuse the algorithm. It also means you're not updating all of them with the correct information. There's right. a lot of pieces. It confuses the algorithms when someone does a search for your business and when it's going to make that decision on what is going to show up, what is not going to show up. And, oh, inside, okay. and inside of the marketing world, you can hear this called as uh, your voice search listings. You could have it be called citations. Um, People get the phone calls all the time of you don't have a good, your business registered for voice search registration. You might get the phone calls of saying, hey, your Google voice listing isn't right. Um, you might get a phone call as a business owner that says, you know, your Google listing is incorrect and I show that it's not properly set up or it doesn't exist. And there's a lot of stuff that goes into that. But these companies do. Almost everybody in the marketplace goes and uses the same people over and over again. They use the big boys that send up the information, which we got told we couldn't sit at the big boy table when we were <laughs> doing it. So yeah, I, I, I don't want to be part I, of the big boy I, table. I, I remember that conversation quite well. <laughs> yeah, but 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 no, so so this this person that just called was are they a member now or are they looking to become a member? They're looking at becoming a member. Okay. And, because and, we've had members that have had the same problem where their accounts got suspended for different reasons, didn't we? I mean, wasn't that some of the, the things that have happened to some other members we've helped out? Google can suspend it, your listing. Apple, I've seen them block listings as well and not get them approved because they had multiple listings and they didn't know which one was right. the right one. That's definitely a play. And when I was right. talking about it, I said, our system's never going to create a duplicate listing for you. You might get an error from our system if there's one out there. And you might have to, as the business owner, reach out to us and say, hey, um, there's this problem and we're manually going to look at that problem. So instead of our system making every single decision, sometimes it throws an error and it depends on your business category. It depends on your location. It depends on what system. So if it gets something from Google or it gets something from one of the networks, it does not recognize, it'll actually throw an error. Sometimes it makes our system go crazy. And the reason why mm -hmm. I didn't do the programming inside of our system, like our competition is programmed is I don't want the system to make a decision on itself when it hits one right. of those. It creates duplicate listings. It creates information that might not be accurate. It makes decisions based on that. And I find that that could be a major problem. So right. our we, system, we, we, like, like we, I said, we our were, system's we were, not perfect. Right. Well, you know, we, we went through that whole thing. We developed the whole flow process. We talked about those types of scenarios and how we wanted to avoid it. You know, then, I mean, I, I think, you know, you're right that we've had some some little glitches that happen to get some errors, but that's because our system isn't manually doing some things and right. versus pushing things out there incorrectly. We we get it pushed back to us, so we have to evaluate to determine that that's a good decision to make. Where you put that human factor in it versus it, just a, a, a automation, right? It does. It puts. I believe automation is good to a point, but you have to sometimes have that human intervention in between and yeah, it, it, what what ends up happening well his biggest complaint is i have all these duplicate listings it keeps creating more duplicate listings 
And I keep signing up for these companies and it's hurting my business. I've been around for, I think he said like 14 or 15 years. And he okay. goes, I, I keep repeating the same things. And I've had to change my business name because of it a few times because it was just so bad I couldn't help it. Uh, and right. I wanted to stress that piece that we'll never create a duplicate listing because we're constantly manually checking those things and we have checks and balances in place. Right. In, my, in my career, since owning and operating agencies full time since 2008, I have seen this time and time again. I've seen it with all of our competition when I had them. I had, I mean, hell, we had problems with your other <laughs> business when you were with me as, an, as when I had my agency. Right, but right. That I, what, I, that's some of the <laughs> big, biggest reasons why we created the platform the way we did. Right. Well, you know, because of those those shortfalls, I mean, all these other platforms, they have some things that they do really well. They have some things that they don't do well. We, we try to take the best of everybody and put it all together. But be, by doing that, though, we've created our, we've become our, yeah, I'm not going to say we're our own worst enemy, but we've created a, a platform that's, that's so unique and so different. And it's really designed for the small business person to help them so that we can make good decisions for them if they, if they reach out to us and ask. Uh, you, you, don't you agree with that? You know, I, I you agree will. with that. And we put those, I, I, I call that our checks and balances. I say, hey, we're not a perfect system. You're going to run into some errors. If you run into an error inside the system, you got to let us know. We rely majorly still on the Google network. We're looking at getting off of having that be a major piece that we're relying on and to where we're standalone, how we're handling some of that information. But that allows us to get some of those problems to be able to track it down to get the best results. I think some of these big corporations, I think they do a great job when they're working with some of the big corporate brands, but when it and when they're working with agencies, they can do mass posting and do all this big stuff really, really well. But when it comes to that small business person, it's one of those things to where you have to have the checks and the balances in place. And they're, let's face it, as small business owners, we're unique. And yep. when you go to these big corporations like this, you're a number. You're dealing with a salesperson. You can't get a hold. I mean, yes, you have. <laughs> you have a you have a chance of getting one of our marketing coaches when you make a call. You might get Lucy if all of us are busy, and you might get our AI assistant and have to leave us a message. But you can always reach one of us, and right. it might take us a little bit because we're having scaling issues. <laughs> uh, we only have so many hours in the day, and you might get an email instead of getting a call back a couple times, but um, or a quick video about something. But it's one of those things to where we operate as a small business. We make sure that we are doing the best we can to be able to get people found and give them more opportunities as we do it. And we're not going to create those duplicate listings because that's an absolute huge piece but, of how do you go through and fix those. And just so you know, the best way to fix those, you got two options, in my opinion. You can either let it ride out and let it uh, fix itself, or you can... Um, actually go through and contact each of them and do it on your own behalf. And you can fix those listings by doing that. A right. lot of our networks that we go out to is because we go out to certain networks and they feed off of one another. Right. So we can't go back. So if there's anybody that has inaccurate information, we can't go out there and fix some of those things because what they've done is they've connected. It's like a daisy chain of connections right, right. to where you get listed on Google, someone else picks up that information and goes out to here and goes out over here, goes out over here. Our algorithm works on that, but we cannot back that out. It's why right. when I'm talking to a counselor or someone that doesn't want their address to be vis visible, I always recommend to hide that address from the very beginning because if you accidentally put your address in and you want to pull that back in, you've already let that genie out of the bottle and yep. that's a really difficult area. Right. I've had that conversation with some people that they've set up and their address went out and they go, now that I have people knocking at my, my front door, I don't want people coming to me. So, you know, and, and that's that's the, the personal, you know, some people say, oh, I don't mind, but other people don't want that to happen because they just don't want that to happen, uh, you know, for people to come into their their door. But and I get that. So with all that said to this this potential member, what what was his or her response was it was it positive that they they liked what we were saying because we yeah. are human we're a small business um, it, it a, that, that, that's what we bring to the table so uniquely different is that if somebody calls us i mean they may not get you right right away but if they really want to talk to us we will make that call it may take a little bit of time but we'll get there it just just because there's just the two of us that 
but we'll, we can make those decisions. And we love, I, I really enjoy that feedback from, from people when they, they talk to us, because then I get to hear, this is what their concerns are. This is how we can solve it. And that's how we, that's how we've been growing this platform for the last four years is just because of that yep. feedback. And, and it's based on the playbooks that we have been, I've been doing personally for years. I mean, as I've said, I started diving, I started diving in and breaking apart and rebuilding search engines since 1995 and how they think and what they do and all of that stuff. And I never realized I was going to pull that same knowledge back <laughs> when I was a teenager and um, break it up apart. I never knew I was going to use that later on in life, but I mean, we've used the heck out of it. We so, have, but no, I mean, if you have duplicate listings out there, you want to have that one-on-one -on -one conversation, give us a call. We'd love to talk to you. Uh, send us an email, send us a chat message. We would love to have that conversation. Try our platform. We're a completely different breed. We are a small business, but we are for small business, which I think makes us so unique and such a different play compared to what a lot of other networks are out there. So make sure you I like, agree. subscribe, check out our YouTube channel, um, check us out on Facebook, and uh, just let us know how we can help you. All right. Good chat. Thanks, Rob. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, everybody.